And we hear the whistling of birds. And we hear the gunfire. We are on hold fast. Hello, everyone. And we are making our way towards the burning bush nearby the British spawn. And you can see many bushes are burning right now. And this is the 59th Thursday line battle here on Holfast. So, as you can see, the boys getting set up. Look at this. Fine lines. These guys getting ready to move out. I don't think their position's going to be that well hidden, considering they've got massive great bonfires sort of alerting where they are. But, you know, pff, details. Never mind. Anyway, bear in mind, until, until we have other options available to us, we will have to do the quick escape and then all the rest of it. I have had conversations with the devs. There are going to be improvements to the spec mode. So here we see from the 63rd, Cassius and the lads moving out. And look at these guys in, of course, as the fine French. And you can see them supporting their teammates over there. And it uh, looks like they're making their way over to the left-hand side. They're supported by another line. So I would say they're covering the middle area. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the free roam camera. Now, the advantage, obviously, of the free roam camera is we can get to see the actual movement of the lines themselves. You won't necessarily be able to see the players. But here you can see the line we were looking at earlier. A big line of Frenchmen moving out. Taking cover by the rocks. Look at this. They've got surgeons in there as well. A little bit of tender, loving care. A bit of ether. And they'll saw your leg off when you're not looking. So. Let's have a look. Oh, fantastic shot coming in there from the RRA. You've got this line here. And you can see them. Fine fellows supporting their colleagues. Officer with his face, face down in a bush. Can't say I blame him. Now. Look at that. So you've got a mini line. Oh, Nelly! The RRA taking down members of the 28th and the 63rd. So you've got this line here covering them on the right-hand flank. The middle section wouldn't stand up there for long, mate. The middle section covered. And the far left flank now also being covered. And look at this, an outflanking manoeuvre by the British. And it looks to be the RRA going up against the NR4. And the NR4 taking some casualties. The QRA also taking some casualties as well out there in the field. As these guys, you can see them reloading as quickly as they can. Making the best of the rocks that are provided. But as you can see, not a full set of rocks for them to hide behind. As you can see, look at this. Their enemy coming over the hill. They're going to be looking for that all-important cover that the hill provides them. But this is going to be a problem for them because you can see now their numbers are definitely disadvantaged, especially as they've just lost two people. This could get painful for them. But reinforcements come in on their left flank. That should redress the numbers here for these fine British fellows. Now, they're staying over there on the far left-hand side. Let's go over and find out what these boys are up to. So you can see this little line here. They start then moving up to the position of their officer. You can see now they're looking to try and support this line here by the rocks and the smaller line. Whoops a daisy, they've lost a few. Oh, they've lost another. Literally bodies piling on bodies. Oh dear, definitely R-rated stuff going on there. And the French doing a good job of standing their ground. Look at this. They've done a fantastic job. They haven't lost a lot of casualties. Correction. They just lost the officer face down in the dirt. Oh, dear. Poor officer. That's definite orifice aiming, without a doubt. So these guys doing a good job of holding this position. But now you can see... Let's go and have a look over on the far side here. So that flank is pretty well defended right now. The far left flank... And over here, you've got French lines and French lines. And they are holding the right flank pretty heavily. Very impressive stuff. Let's go into the spectate mode and see who they are. It's the 28th. Look at these fine fellows. John Abbott. 
and they're waiting. How wonderfully drilled these boys are. And here you can see the RRA. There's Cadet Kafitz. And here the 58th Recruit Knuckles moving in and you can see other members of his team moving up. Seems to be taking it rather slowly, but you can see the flag, the jack holding high. And now they're starting to try and push back against the French, which you can see in the center of the screen. Oh, look at that. Lovely shooting coming in from the lads as the QRA now push the advantage, supporting the gentleman on their left. And here are the 28th, Philip Rilly, Lance Corporal. So let's go back to the free roam. So, you can see the French doing a good job of trying to hold their position. They've managed to make a reasonable amount of casualties on the United Kingdom side. So I think it's fair to say the French do have the slight advantage in numbers right now. Now that may come back to bite the British on the rear end. But you can see now lines supporting each other. Moving back to cover this all-important left flank. The right flank has been pretty well covered. Now, the question I'm wondering is whether or not we're going to see a push closer. You can see this from the right flank. They are now engaging the Brits on the left flank. And there's some Brits that are still towards the rear and trying to carefully push their way down this left flank of the French. Well, technically speaking, it's the right flank of the French, if you're looking from the French direction, which is that way. So. Oh, good shot. That sky will never bother us again. So, the lads getting ready to fire. Watch this. This is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Beautiful volley. And the smell of cordite. And the smoke. From these buggers. Look at this. All reloading, getting ready. The sun glinting off the sabres and off the bayonets and off the braid work of these brave fellows. And now you can see them slowly pushing up, trying to push that advantage that they have on their own right flank with these guys engaging the Brits who are trying to push through the centre down the main road. Doesn't offer them a lot of cover out of here. And there we go. There's the proof. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, death tends to be a little bit unfortunate. But now they should see them kneeling. Oh, that's not going to help. Yes, we want to hide our position. Let's hold a lit lantern. Oh, goodness. What's going on over here? Man with flag. Anyway. So. The RRA continue to lose people. And now they're taking cover behind the bushes. Try and obscure the... Oh, look at that. More members of the RRA. And there's another man. Oh, no. That was Lieutenant Dommy. We've lost Dommy. Oh, poor Dommy from the AT Swiss. Oh, the squeaky Dommy. We love him. And so... Let's see. So the, the, the teams, as you look at them, pretty equal, really. 79 versus 79. And, oh my goodness. Let's go and have a look at the standard spectator camera. And here they are. It's the AT. There's Gruff in there. And we're looking at uh, Safasrabi. Oh my goodness, what a name. Of the 62nd. Oh dear. Look at that man right next to him takes a bullet. Drops to the ground. Blood soaking into the ground. Horrible stuff. And here. Crane Terrance from the RRA. Look at these fellows. Shoulder to shoulder. And here we go. The melee charge. And the 62nd is getting ready. Now we need to follow this in free roam because it's going to get messy otherwise. Look at these numbers coming in. British Army 
pouring in. Surgeons at the rear. They'll saw your leg off. Chuck some ether over your nose and knock you out. The Napoleonic equivalent of Rohypnol. So, let's see. The murdering beginning over here on the right side. There's a man with a flag. There's a man with a flag. Look out, he's going to flag. Oh my goodness, there's flag on flag action. And there is a flag kill. The Imperial Eagle is now blooded with British blood. Yes, blooded with British blood. Yes, I think that works. Oh my goodness, he's in with the Imperial League. Oh, can you imagine the shame? He died on the battlefield. What happened? He got diddled by an Imperial Eagle. Not something you really want to admit to in public. So, remaining Brits. Let's see if we can... Oh my goodness, there's a punch up with the Doctor. We can't have that. What's going on? Who's the doctor? And there we go. The doctor is well and truly out. And we are back with round number two. We move over to the spawns. This time we'll go and say hello to the fine French forces. Find out what shenanigans they're up to. What foot paddery they have planned. No doubt there's something going on over here. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, don't you even think about it, sunshine. See that? He sliced his sword at me, the bugger. That's just rude. Rude. And now you can see the French forces, the fine army of the French Empire moving out. The lines, well drilled, being sorted. And look at this. They're being very, very aggressive on the right here. This right flank tends to be a very, very strong, strong setup for the French. I have to say, in this battle, they had a pretty strong right flank on the first round. And the middle was a bit weaker. Left was probably the weakest of all the flanks. But this time you can see they're still spreading their forces relatively okay right now. Let's look at that. The Imperial Eagle. Recently been washed off after being brutally shoved up someone's butt in the previous round, but you know, whatever. It looks like, are we going to have a volley? No, they're moving on. They're making, oh, look at this. They're actually shuffling out along behind the rock so they can get the maximum amount of cover before they do their volley. Lads getting ready. Look at that. They're all presenting. And we're going to see a massive volley any second. Come on, fellas. We're waiting for the moment. Aim high. Hey! Oh, a few Johnny Come Lately's in there. Lovely stuff indeed. Oh, goodness. They've got trouble coming in. Or have they? Could this be? It is. Look at this support from the other members of the French army. And you've got Brits up here hiding behind the rocks. And look at this, taking a sneaky little jump onto the top of the rock to take a pot shot at their enemy across the field. Oops. Did I just hear somebody get horribly murdered by a... Oh, look at this. Even the commanding officer is staying low because of the tendency to orifice aim in this game. So there, they've got a surgeon. Oh dear, they've lost a man already. Oh, the QRA are losing numbers. This can't be good. Look at these fellows. All lined up. And now starting to pull back a little bit. Regrouping as the British force them to move. Let's see if we can find out what's going on. Look at this. Now moving from the British right flank to stiffen the left flank. Who doesn't want a stiff left flank? And now you can see a large majority of this line at the back here moving to the left flank of the British. And now they're going to try and push back against this French force. But it's quite a formidable French force when it comes to numbers. 
Look at these guys. Oh, isn't that glorious? Absolutely glorious. So, let's see what they have planned and let's see if we can find some of the individuals in the battle. Oh my goodness, it's Ensign Newt Newt, your Newt. What a fine name. Recruit Oliver Wilson of the 28th, this lovely line of fellows standing shoulder to shoulder and firing back at the enemy. Low delicious Tigu from the 59th, Colour Sergeant. And you can see he's got himself a, a small detachment of fellows to assist him. Here's Hedgy working together with another section of the 59th. And here is Cadet Hans of the RRA. Look at this. Oh, lovely shooting there. And a few kills in there for the RRA. The 63rd. There's Soldat Cassius. Oh, down he goes. Cassius has been slain. Oh, dear. There he is. The man himself, Lieutenant Dommy from the Swiss. Now, let's see if we can find out. Oh, was that a name? It is! Corporal Captain Schnush, 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 Schnush. That, of course, Mr. Leishu. We'll watch him as he fires. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. They're going to make weight now, aren't they? Oh, somebody took a bullet. But, looking good. As now we move over to the SVEA. There's Wilma. And the other members of the 59th Frau Ducetta. A grenadier Frau, no less. And James Barley, private of the 28th. And you can see they've lost a few. And look at that, he gets a kill. Tiny wizard. Lovely stuff from James there. And the most ineffective pistol shot ever. Ah, uh, here we are. Here is Sebas from the first ELVN. From the QRA. And they're getting ready to fire back. And it looks like they're getting ready to move. They've lost a few people. Oh, it's Perboing. There's a name we haven't seen for a while. The NR4. Oberst Perboing. I do remember that name very well from, of course, North and South. And it's always a pleasure to see him. Because of the way you have to say his name. Paboing! Anyway, RRA, Cadet Ryan, and these guys very well drilled for firing back. So, let's go and have a look at the free roam camera. See if we can get an idea of strategy and tic tacs and all that important stuff. You can see here these fellows lost a few people, but the line still remains relatively strong. You've got this small detachment in the centre with the Doctor hiding behind them. Um, probably goes against some kind of... Uh, oh, God, what's the word? Hippocratic Oath, but, you know. To do no harm. Well, I'll fire my pistol at you. Now, let's have a look here, because... This is a beautiful detachment of French forces, and they have moved up quite aggressively in the centre. And you've got the right flank of the French who are firing... Actually, no, I'd say that's more middle to left. The actual right flank of the French is over here. And they've got a good support when it comes to numbers. They've lost a few of their people, as you can see. But they're still remaining relatively... Oh, strong. Oh, my goodness. Oh, don't... No, no, no. That's not a good idea. This isn't going to end well. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was 46 Major, uh, I believe her Enka is currently now residing on the floor, decomposing quietly, while his enemy, the French, are escaping. Oh, fine, look at that, 100.9 metre headshot. Oh, NL Wolf, fine shooting here from him. Now, let's have a look around, shall we? So here you see the British Army. You've got numbers. It looks like, I would say, that the flanking over here on the far right-hand side is working well. But 
The problem that they will have is if the French decide to go down the main road. I'd be very surprised if they did because there's not a lot of cover down the main road. That would leave them open and susceptible to fire from both directions as you've got the left flank of the British Army and the right flank of the British Army. It means that they could literally collapse in and move in and uh, basically butcher everybody, which is never a good situation. It's just a conversation killer, butchering people in general. So, look at this. The French forces are pushing back against the Brits. Now, you can see what remains of the British Army here on their own right flank is pulling back to the defensive position of the rocks. Oh, there goes another one. That was Sebas from the QRA first, the LVN. And now these Frenchmen are pushing up on their own left flank, forcing the British to flee backwards. Oh, goodness. Is this very aggressive? It is! Oh, this could go badly. This could go badly for the British. Look at that one kill coming in on the members of the QRA. First, the LVN. And some fire going down. And a fine pistol shot, even though it is effectively completely useless. But look at this. Reinforcements coming in to assist the Brits. Now you can see them moving. Moving back to the rocks to support. Supported by an additional forces. And look at that. Down goes Ming Johnson. Shot quite literally in the Johnson. Look at this. Fantastic stuff coming in from the lads. Oh, oh, shot in the kneecap. Oh, that's horrible. How he managed to catch that, he must have bounced off a rock and bounced into his kneecap. Well, never mind. So, a few guys here left reclining on the rocks. And look at this, another push in by very aggressive French forces to try and outflank the Brits. And the Brits being forced to pull back with seriously reduced numbers. That's going to be a problem for them. Now, wait and see to see if the French reform, regroup, and continue to try and make the Brits flee. You can see them now returning to the larger lines who can support them. Ho oh, ho! Look at that. Beautiful shoot, shooting coming in from the 59th. Look at them all. All these lobster backs, well trained, well drilled, beaten with large sticks, and fed very little. Oh, that was a bit delayed. Damn officers, flipping Ruperts. Anyway. So. French forces. Pushing back towards the army. Now, let's go and look over on the far side here to make sure we don't have any sneaky Brits trying to get round the side. And you can see numbers. Difficult to say. I'd say it's quite even. Maybe the United Kingdom has lost a few more people, but only a few more in comparison. And now, let's see if there's anything up here. I think they're going to be wanting to get to this rock position for the cover that it will produce for them. Then maybe move down here, keep their position blocked from the defending British Army, moving closer and hit them from that side. But they'll have to be quick. The spyglass will need to be used. They'll have to be paying attention to what's going on as we crash into the burning bush. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh dear me. I think someone's having a seizure, but never mind. Oh, fantastic. Major Crichton of the 59th taken out with a 156.9 meter headshot. That's serious, serious shooting right there. So, the French seem to be doing a good job of sort of holding him to the position that they want to, keeping them pinned down. Newt, Newt, we've lost Newt. Oh, dear. 
Now, we've got the French moving up. And there we go, it's melee charge time, boys and girls. Here are the British with the Jack and the officers. Their quarry is on the far hill. They may not have noticed coming from the right. <laughs> and a shout out to me. Oh, bless. Isn't that sweet? Thank you. And look at this. French coming in from one side. Going to possibly punch him to death. And an officer kill. Tommy goes in and stabs the officer in the side of the head. Oh, the brutality that is Dommy. Get him, Dommy. Oh, another kill. We've got to watch Dommy. Oh, Dommy has fallen. Dommy has fallen in battle, but a fine first kill in the melee session there. Lovely stuff indeed. And here you can see the Imperial Eagle marking the center of the melee. He's looking for an opportunity to poke somebody in the gizzards with it. Oh, no! He paused. He was going to be nice and gentle, and then he got stabbed in the butt with a 17-inch. But never mind. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The French take that round, and we move on to the next one after one of those mappity doo -dah change things. Well, we're back. After a map change, no cannons will be used in these rounds. This is an infantry line battle, and we're with the British Army as they make their way out. Oh dear. And we can see the firing coming over from the hills by the ruins, with the French already. Look at this massive line of fellows. Server might be suffering a little bit at the moment. See a little bit of rubber banding going on, but no doubt the guys are looking into that. So, let's see if we can go and say hello to some of these fellows. RFM Storm of the 59th following in behind Jam. And there's Hagum. Oh my goodness, it's Brabant. Hendrik van Brabant. What a fine name. From the 63rd. And Corporal Hutka has just killed John Smithers, member of the 28th, fan shot indeed. And Cadet Osman of the RRA, the first FT. Look at this. Oh, look, there's a Wu Tang Clan fan, or Wu Tang fan, I should say. Evil Dragon, nearby the flag holder. Look at that, holding. The flag with determination, checking through his spy glasses, the officer. Let's go back as they're about to do a present in a shot. And listen to that. Fire in the background. Fine shooting coming in from the 62nd. Here is Gruff from the AT. And they're working together with Casadas. And no doubt the other members of the AT. Fine fellows, one and all. And the pistol shot is away. Arthur Redding of the 28th. Here is Cassius of the 63rd. And working together with Fusilier Destroyer. They're all getting lined up and ready to go. George King of the 28th in the long line. Oh dear. I think they've lost an officer maybe. Difficult to say. Here he is, Mr. Lace himself of the NR4. And James Cunningham of the 28th. Look at that massive line getting set up. Going to be shooting. Look at the puffs of smoke in the far distance. And he's making sure that everyone's lined up. Look at that. Making sure that they're in a proper line. The commanding officer of the 28th being very close and attention to detail. Oh, the RRA. Beautiful shooting there. Lovely volley coming in. And they've claimed a few victims and here the first ELVN Sebas again looking for an opportunity to take a pot shot as the RRA are moving out and look at this fine line massive long line of them recruit blonde or sorry recruit bond and there's Silverber or Silverber and Hansen in there as well 
So, first cadet, son of Durin. Now is not the time, phone. And following in behind Cadet Ryan. And there is Moller of the SVEA. And we're back with Rick. And there, Brigadier General Robin. And you can see him checking through his spyglass to find out where the enemy is located. And Platil, recruit of the 58th. And there's Veteran Bram. Face of experience. Hans Richter of the 28... Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to screw himself into the ground by the looks of it. And there is Private Krull. Fine film. I remember that from the 80s. And Kato the Younger. See how long it is till he gets shot and he'll be Kato the Not-So-Young. And there is Casadas of the 80. And Hansen, Destroyer, is of course Wu Tang fan. Oh heavens, Tiny Wizard. Oh! Tiny Wizard's down! Oh no. Let's move in. Find out what's going on as we're seeing some murderization occurring out there on the battlefield. You've got the French continuing to fire back at the enemy. You've got the fight around the ruins still carrying on. And some melee out there in the battlefield. Oh, look at this. You can see them. Oh, look at this jumping to try and stay out of the way of those bullets. Dodging, pro dodging right there, boys and girls. So, as we look over here to this area that provides quite a lot of cover, really. <laughs> okay, so apparently Tigu is not ha <laughs> Okay, technical problems were experienced there. Uh, Tigu trying to do some discipline with the lads, and unfortunately the lads mutiny against him. So, poor old Tigu, never mind. Now, French army out here in the field could be the Swiss 80, complete with Doctor. As the bullets continue to ping around the dust and desert nearby, you can see, oh, look at this. Little detachment on the right-hand side, a further detachment of Brits trying to pin them down and force them to flee. And that's exactly what they've done. They've killed a few. Oh, sorry, correction. I thought they had. But they decided to pull back to work with the additional French forces here on the left side of the ruins. Now, as we look over to the right side of the ruins, we can see some French forces, some standard line troops and a bit of guarding going on there. They are looking to attack these forces moving in on their right side. But they have a disadvantage. Uh, there's less cover here for the Brits. Obviously, behind the hills is an option for them. But it's going to be a long run to get to the ruins. During which the French will be able to liberally take pot shots at them. Oh, ho Nelly, lovely stuff coming in there. And people being told off for being on the cannons. Naughty, naughty. So, wandering out in the field. Taking it carefully. Don't want to get sand in your eyes when you're trying to have a battle. So we move back to the ruins as the French continue to defend. As you can see, they've had a few casualties. Now they're moving back. And the admin there, just reiterating a few issues. People being a bit cheeky. So, here you can see the French forces moving out this time towards the ruins. Oh, they've lost a few people. That was an orifice. An orifice goes down. 
The flag holder holding on to the trickler. Look at that. Gold braiding on that looks beautiful. And the sun coming down over the top of the battle. Lovely stuff indeed. So you can see they're trying to engage those Brits you can see in the far distance right in the centre of the screen. You've also got some Brits, I think, getting into a little bit of a stab and a grab over here. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. And it looks to be like the NR64 went up against the QRA and suffered as a result of that. And you can see now, they're taking cover behind the rocks. Oh, down go two members of the 58th shot by the Swiss 8th. They're standing their ground. Oh, down goes another one. Oh, that was Zimbo, I think. Poor Zimbo is no more. And they charge. They charge into battle. Oh, shot down. There goes Gruff. And in comes the doctor. The doctor is here for a bit of surgery. Is he going to make it? Oh, he's managed to force a team kill and he gets another one. And this is Musketeer going in for a little bit of slicing and dicing. And he's killed another one. Oh, there's another fire coming in and look at that. What a survival by Musketeer. Fantastic stuff coming in from him. The Corporal of the Eighth. So, now... The melee charge is ready to begin. And we move with the French forces. The trickler still gleaming in the sun. Off all that lovely gold braid and they move towards the ruins. And we can hear some murdering occurring. Look at the kill feed. They must be round here somewhere. Aha! And here they come out of the ruins. Lining up. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh good heavens, that is just brutal. And here we go. Where are these two going? What are they doing over here? They're choosing it in the wrong direction. Look at this. Going in for the stab and the grab. Oh my goodness. Now look. <laughs> he's running. Oh, he's forced the team kill. He's forced the team kill. Oh dear, this could go really badly. And he's got another one. He finally, that was Osman, stabbed in the bottom. What can you say? And look at this. This looks to be a melee only battle. And the band is at the back. Oh, who shot that? Maybe it won't be a melee. That's a bit naughty. Oh dear. <laughs> Somebody seems to be somewhat face down. Oh well. Guess he's been demoted. So. And some of these guys need to learn the playing together. Yeah, definitely needs to happen. Oh, they're all going to meet in the middle. So here we go. Look at this. Some fine fifing. Fine fife work. Oh, God, no. Melee charge. Get in there, boys. And you can see a little bit of rubber banding going on with the server, unfortunately. It's possible the server might be on its last legs, as you can see. Oh, look at this, the way that they've actually separated out into two distinct factions. And literally anybody who's left on his own is having to cheese it in the opposite direction like this. Oh, in comes the band and the flags. Oh, that's definite shooting. And there we go. The band's been brutally murdered. <laughs> oh, musicians get no love in the Polionic War era games, I tell you. Poor sods. Never mind. So, 
the murdering continues ad nauseum. And he's going into diddling with the flag and he gets diddled in return. Oh, the diddlification has occurred. Oh, goodness me, what's going on over here? And there, another kill with the fine Imperial Eagle. Who's left? Uh-oh. There's still some left over here by the rocks. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That has been a hold fast nations at war line battle. My thanks to the 59th Regiment for their Thursday event for allowing me to come along. I hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you next time for more. Take care. <laughs>